Thanks, Joe. Well, there's a group of professionals that wants to make Ithaca even more eco-friendly with a new way to get around. They call it pod cars. Mm -hmm. And News Channel 36 is Ted Fairliso is live in the studio with more. Now, Ted, what is a pod car? Guys, pod cars are driverless, on-demand forms of personal transportation. This week, people from pod car companies across the world are meeting at Cornell University to discuss the possibility of bringing pod cars to Ithaca. Some say these so-called bubbles on a beam could be an alternative to your personal car. A company called Vectis already has a test track in Sweden. The Swedish Transport Institute's director thinks the concept will go over well here in the U.S., where people are tired of traffic congestion and pollution. They, they seem to be um, uh, so much uh, aware of the problem and aware of uh, the, the, the fact that this can be a technological solution to the, to the mess. The group Connect Ithaca wants to bring pod cars to the city. Chairman Frost Davis says Ithaca is a great U.S. city for the test track because it's got a variety of terrain and weather. We're a growing city, one of the few growing cities in upstate New York, thanks in large part to the strength of Cornell and the stability that provides, but there's also an enormous amount of technological innovation in Ithaca. Now these pod car systems don't come cheap. Cost estimates, excuse me, cost estimates range from three to twenty million dollars per mile to build. Travis says it could take ten years for pod cars to catch on in Ithaca. Live in the studio, Ted Fiorelliso, WENY News Channel 36. Scott.